now share with him eternal We now place some symbols on Joseph's coffin. In life, Joseph cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Joseph received the sign of the cross May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death.
sky, casting its shadows near. And on this morning, bright though it be, I feel your shadows near. Good afternoon, everybody. You're very, very welcome as we gather here in the Church of St. Ita here in Ashford uh, to celebrate the funeral mass on this sad occasion for our parishioner, uh, Joe Nelligan. And on behalf of the priests who've come along to celebrate this mass with me, I'd just like to extend our sincere sympathies to <coughs> Joe's uh, family, to his parents, Nora and Donald, to his girlfriend Emma and to the Nelligan and the Mulcahy families. And before we begin our Mass now, <clears throat> the family might be seated for a moment, and the family would like to bring to the altar <clears throat> some symbols of Joe's life which help to paint their own picture of Joe's life. And Emma will uh, describe these uh, symbols for us. Bringing up the symbols of Marie and James, Kian and Bath, Morris and Tig, Garol and Kian. <coughs> yep. Marie and James, Joseph's baptismal candle and guardian angel. Marie and James, as Joseph's godparents, bring these items as symbols of Joseph's Catholic faith. and Tighe. Morris brings to the altar a sod of turf representing the life Joseph was born into. Tighe brings to the altar a photo of Joseph and a newborn calf representing his interest in farming from an early age. Keen and Bat, Keen brings Joseph's welding shield. Bat brings Joseph's beastly t-shirt. These items represent Joseph's work life in Charleville as an apprentice metal fabricator. Garrod and Kieran. Garrod and Kieran bring to the altar a car number plate and a tractor. Joseph's love of cars and tractors was known in nearly every county in Ireland. Stephen and Jack. Stephen and Jack bring to the altar flowers. 
these flowers show the love and support that have been shown to Joseph's loved ones over the last number of days. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In our Gospel, which we chose for our Mass today, it says, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. So we gather now here, and we pray for strength, courage, and consolation, and comfort for the family at this time. We begin our Mass by calling to mind our own need of God's love, mercy, and forgiveness as we say together the Confitia. I confess and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant, Joe May, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated now as we listen to the Word of God. And the first reading is read for us by Michael, the second reading by Noreen. And then we'll have the prayers. Faithful First reading a reading from the Book of Wisdom. The virtuous man, though he died before his time, will find rest. Lint of days is not what makes age honorable, nor number of years the true measure of life, understanding. This is a person's gray hairs, untarnished life. This is ripe old age. He has sought to please God, so God has loved him. As he was living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that the evil may not warp his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade and whirlwind of desire corrupts a simple heart. Coming to perfection in so short a while, he achieved a long life. His soul being pleasing to the Lord he has taken him quickly from the wickedness around him. The word of the Lord.
Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord, so that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. We shall all have to stand before the judgment seat of God. A scripture says, be my life. It is the Lord who speaks. Every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall praise God. It is to God, therefore, that each of us must give an account of himself. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. And the Lord be with you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today we come together in this church to mourn the tragic death of a young member of our community, Joe Nelligan. We were all deeply, I suppose, shocked when the news of what happened broke last Sunday morning. And now we gather in the presence of the good Lord to try to, I suppose, come to terms with the, this sad occasion. We sympathize with his parents, Nora and Donal, and family, also his girlfriend, Emma, as we join together as a grieving community in pain and in sorrow. It came so suddenly, so tragically, a young, energetic, outgoing, happy-go-lucky, jovial teenager, accepted by all with many friends, A young man full of hope for a long, successful future that lay ahead of him. And in that one moment, it all ended. How fragile life is. I suppose we can all look back over one's life at the near misses we all had. Joe obviously was very unfortunate that this accident ended in death. But accidents are happening every day and we need to pray for protection, to pray for one another, asking God to guide us on life's journey. When we were children growing up, I suppose we were all taught that beautiful prayer to the angel guardian, 
O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule, and to guide. So today, as we gather to pray for Joe, let us all pray for each other, young and not so young. Joe was always a nice young man. I suppose you could say he was born for the open spaces, the freedom of being out and about like most young people. He served Mass here for a short time. I don't think he was overly enthusiastic, <laughs> but nonetheless, he was here and he was a joy. No matter what you'd say to him, he'd just greet you with a smile. He was gifted with his hands, doing his apprenticeship with a welding firm, which he enjoyed, something he always wanted. He had found his niche in life. He had the makings of a fine man, but life doesn't always, I suppose, run in straight lines. There are twists and turns. How tragic for all that it should end in an accident. And for all the young people, I suppose, gathered here, friends of Joe's, there is a special message. No doubt Joe would like to thank you for your friendship and concern. And once again, you are deeply shocked, surrounded by darkness, as you are launched into the unknown, the arena of death, of the unexpected, the unwanted. The whole situation I suppose, seems so unfair. But this is the time, I suppose, to remember that the Lord is very close to you, that he is calling you. Let the young people come to me, he said. He wants you to draw close to him, only he can give the answers to the questions that have, that have us, leave us all confused at times like this. He comes to me, he who comes to me, he said, will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. So come to him, believe in him, trust in him. Stay in touch with the Lord and he will gently lead you out of darkness into the light. The gospel extends, I suppose, an invitation to each one of us. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you a rest. Joe, we believe, is now with God. He is, we believe, being taken care of. And we who are left behind must take care of each other. And in so doing, God's healing power will be at work among us and give us the strength, the consolation, and the courage to face the future. Those of us left behind also learn from Joe's passing that life is a gift, something very precious that needs to be valued and cherished. Finally, I'd just like to wish again to extend our deepest sympathy to all Joe's family, his parents, Nora and Donal, who were so good and so caring of him all during his life, to all the Nelligan family who are highly respected by all in this community, to his girlfriend, Emma, whom he adored, and we pray very sincerely for all of you as we offer this Mass. May the Lord give you the strength to carry this cross. May the Blessed Virgin who stood by the cross as her son was dying, give you her maternal protection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I invite you now to stand and we'll have the prayers of the faithful. So the following now who are doing the prayers of the faithful, if they will come forward, Margaret, John, Matt, and Ben.
God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. We are assembled here today for the celebration of the Holy Mass for Joseph, whose life has passed so quickly. God of mercy and compassion, forgive Joseph any sins he may have committed through human weakness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In baptism, Joseph was given the pledge of eternal life. We pray that you, Lord, will welcome Joseph into your heavenly dwelling and grant him the happiness of everlasting youth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, Lord God, from whom human sadness is never hidden, you know the burden of grief that Donal and Nora feel at the loss of their beloved son. Strengthen them to live through this time of suffering which has been laid upon them, and may they know that peace that only you can give. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For Joseph's grandparents, Jody, our Joe, Brady, Benja, Mary and Eileen, and all his ancestors, we pray that Joseph will be united with them in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. We pray for everyone who has been affected by this tragedy, those who came to assist Joseph on Saturday night, the first responders, the community of Dua, the doctors, the nurses, and all the staff in New HL Kerry. We think of the families who have been affected by this tragedy and keep them in our thoughts and prayers in these days and weeks ahead. We remember Joseph's wide circle of friends, work colleagues, neighbours, extended family, and the community here in Cleedy and beyond. We think of everyone who was called St. Mistress of Support, those who helped in the preparing of Joseph's funeral, and all the people who attended the rosary of removal, and everyone who was in attendance here today to support us in our time of grief. We ask the Lord to help us in our grief, to comfort one another. May we find light in times of darkness and faith in times of doubt. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And we ask Mary, our mother, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with, with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, women and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our brother Joseph. Cleanse him of his sins and grant him the fullness of redemption. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We receive now for the offer dream. <coughs> Laura and Mike will uh, bring the gifts to the altar.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Joe, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, and by, your, by cross your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church 
and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Isa, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And by this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Brendan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. <clears throat> Remember your servant, Joe, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And together we pray with confidence to God our Father in the words Jesus our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and yeah, ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. For a moment in silence, we pray for peace, peace in our own hearts, in our own families, communities, and throughout the world.
Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of, God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy if you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let perpetual light shine upon him, O Lord, with all your saints forever, for you are merciful. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him with your saints forever, for you are merciful. i 
don't fall in sleep Even when at dawn the sky shall weep Even when a night wind storm shall rise God is by my side God is by my side Deep the feast of shall gather in deep peace deep in heaven's light where sorrows pass beyond death shall weep even when a night wind storm shall rise God is by my side God is by my I'm so numb, I can't feel anymore. I'm just praying you would walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming. You're not really gone as long as I believe. Just jealous of the angels 
St. Ita, our dearest patron saint, for thy loving children pray, grant that we, by thy protection, may grow in virtue day by day. St. Ita, pray for us. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. And let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully granted, strengthened by it, our brother Joe may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And let us bless the Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Joseph. May all farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And now we bless Joseph's body with the holy water and we use the incense as a symbol of 
he's now being with God in a very special way. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Joseph in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, Joseph, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our brother Joseph forever. Amen. And Nora and I would like to do the reflection and word of thanks. If we forget anyone, I apologize in advance. The right is a bit small. <laughs> and I, I left my glasses at home. <laughs> we, Nora, and the Nelligan and Mulcahy family wish to thank the first responders, the paramedics, the Garda, and the staff of the Kerry, the University Hospital, for everything they did for Joseph, both on the roadside and in the hospital. The work they did was tremendous and without question that went above and beyond also. And I also thank the kindness, respect, and the professionalism shown to us at the scene and the in the hospital. But for an awful situation, they treated us and Joseph with great dignity. Thank you, Emma, the girlfriend, for your bravery and fast thinking at the scene of the accident. You're an incredible lady. Thank you. There is no doubt about it, Joseph was cracked about her, and it was obvious that he loved her. Thank you to Amy for contacting on Saturday night, so timely, and Shauna, who monitored and looked after Joseph until the paramedics arrived. We should say thank Father Keaton, Father Stretch, Father Tom, Father David, Father Vaughan, for their prayers and the guidance of the last few days. And also thanks to my cousin Phyllis and Margaret. We want to thank Maureen and Eamon Sexton, 
undertakers for the professionalism, the support and the help and the extra duties added to Nora. Thank you. Thank you to our families, neighbours, friends and to all who call to our home, send messages, text, bought refreshments and helped us in any way. We will be forever grateful. We wish to also thank Joseph's friends a fine, sound bunch of lads and ladies. A special thank to his mate, Keen. You were an unbelievably solid friend to Joseph, and you shared the same views and the thoughts. Thank you. So, Joseph. Joseph was born on the 31st of March 2005, a fine sunny day, not a cloud in the sky, and the bog in full swing. He went to Montessori International School in Ashford when we could get him there. He followed on to Hazelwood College, drum colour her, where he shone that woodwork and metalwork. A young lad with a good pair of hands, but he didn't like conventional study. He left school in 2021, a year before finishing, and secured an apprenticeship in BCD Charleville. He loved being over there, was happy out, especially when he started his second year there with a pay rise. Thank you, BCD, for the opportunity he gave him. As most people know, his big thing was cars, especially the older ones. At 18, he had a 96 Corolla, a 00 Golf, and his 2020, 2010 Golf. He was into restoring and had a Zetter tractor also for fixing up. So he found out very quickly this was an expensive business. Joseph spent an awful lot of time with his dad and uncles doing everything and anything. Bog, cattle, machinery, repairs, tractors, diggers. And when he turned into 18, going for a pint or two as well, maybe. Joseph the person. Joseph was older than his years. He got on with everyone, young and old. Was loved by everyone. A relaxed and easygoing character was not a bad bone in his body. His favourite saying, there is no panic, lad. <laughs> he was a happy young fella, a bit of a rogue, but a mature young fella in the serious things. <coughs> he was definitely beyond his years. We had our arguments with him, as all parents do. But he was an unbelievable son and he loved his mum and dad. He did his best and made us proud, so proud. We can't believe that this isn't going to continue. Such a short life for a young fella, which is a whole life ahead of him. He had his plans and a lot of things figured out. He had his dreams. We will remember them and hopefully get comfort from them. We will always remember you, Joes, with love and a smile. Love you, Joes, you were a good lad. Thanks, uh, Donald and Nora, for a lovely tribute there to Joe. And so in peace now, let us take our brother Joe to his place of rest. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen.
Every road you take